I've seen a lot of articles and content out there trying to explain the bracket system and the PvP honor system in Classic WoW, and I really don't feel like any of them have done a great job simplifying it down. So I'm hoping that in this video, you'll be able to take away very simply how the brackets work, how your honor goes into calculating your rank, and give you an idea of whether or not you should be trying to rank in Classic WoW. So, let's get into it. So first we have Honor, also called Contribution Points. This is what you get for killing the enemy faction or for completing objectives in Battlegrounds. It also decays by 25% with each repeated kill of the same player within the day. We then have Ranking Points or Rating Points. Now these are awarded at each reset, Tuesday for NA, Wednesday for EU. Now the amount of ranking points you're gonna get are based on your bracket standing for the week. These are cumulative, so they add up each week, but your total ranking points decay by a massive 20% each week. And these ranking points are what determine which rank you're awarded every reset. So then that brings us to brackets. So Brackets are faction and server specific, so Alliance on one side of a server is going to have different brackets from Horde on the other side of a server. And they determine how many ranking points you get each week, which then determines your rank. So there's 14 different brackets, and the higher up you go in the brackets, the smaller percentage of players you have. So the brackets are awarded based on how much honor you achieved in comparison to the people in the pool on your faction. So to get into the pool, you have to have at least 15 honorable kills for the week. So this is why it's important to make sure you get your honorable kills on your alts as well to make that pool bigger. Because as you can see, as you go up in the brackets all the way up to 14, there is less players in it. To give a concrete example of this, on Feralina Alliance side, our pools on average end up being about 5,000 players who got over 15 HKs for the week. That means our top bracket is only 15 players of the 5,000. So the more people who get into that pool, the larger each of these brackets can be. So it's really important to make sure you get those HKs on all of your characters that can get them. So the ranking point numbers I'm showing here that you're awarded are actually the top ranking points you can be awarded for being within that bracket. For example, in bracket 14, getting 13,000 RP at the end of the week means that you had the top honor within bracket 14. So this becomes very important because it's a sliding scale from 12,000 up to 13,000 for everyone in bracket 14, depending on the honor that they got for the week. Now this is why you'll start to see factions and servers really strictly control who's in the brackets and how much honor each bracket caps at to ensure that people aren't really hurting the amount of honor that they're getting. So a lot of the people who will be in the top bracket will actually get the exact amount of honor to ensure they all get that 13k RP. That's right, it's drama time because with trying to control the way players play Classic WoW, there is always going to be those who will not cooperate, or guilds who try to control the brackets for themselves, and then people start to get more honor than they should, and they start breaking the brackets. These bracket breakers are slimy, slippery, disgusting snakes, and you need to make sure as a server you crack down on this disgusting behavior. So the last thing I want to mention about the brackets is a lot of the time people will call bracket 14, bracket 1, bracket 13, they'll call bracket 2, just flipping it around. And also that being in bracket 10 or so, you're only getting about 9,000 ranking points. And although that might sound like a lot, being in bracket 10, at least on Feralina Alliance, takes somewhere right now around 300, 400,000 honor for the week. And to get only 9,000 ranking points means that at rank around 11 or 12, you're not even going to overcome the decay that's happening each week. So speaking of those ranks, here they are here. Rank one just requires you to get 15 honorable kills to pump you up to rank one. After that, it's all different ranking point requirements with the highest being rank 14 at 60,000 ranking points, which you can accumulate over each week's reset. 
as I mentioned, this is where the decay really comes into play. If you look at rank 10, you're at 40,000 rank points total. That means your decay is 8,000 a week, meaning you're going to at least have to maintain bracket nine just to hold this rank. So then how much honor do I need to get into each of these brackets? Well, this is fully dependent on your server and on your faction. I would first recommend downloading the add-on Honor Spy. This inspects players around you in the game and communicates via your guild chat to be able to try and at least predict and build the brackets on your server. From there, you will be able to see how big the pool size is on your server, be able to see around where you're placing with your honor for your bracket. To give you a concrete example of this, on Feralina Alliance side, players have worked together to establish a cap around 1.2, 1.25 million honor for bracket one this past week. Bracket two had a cap of about 1 million honor. And to give an example of how much this actually is, Running an AV in a pre-made very efficiently gives you around 4,000 honor per match with the mark turn-ins. Each game takes on average somewhere around 15 minutes. This equals around 16,000 honor an hour. You could get a bit more with kills. But at 16,000 honor an hour, players need to play 11 hours a day, seven days a week if they're doing just that extremely efficiently to reach that bracket one level. So you can see how this becomes incredibly difficult, even with controlling the brackets. So I've heard of some other servers having caps as high as 1.6, 1.7 million honor. You're talking playing 16, 17 hours a day, seven days a week to get up to those levels. So hopefully you're on a server and a faction where you guys are keeping this on tight control and you can relax at least a little bit. But I mean, it still is going to take you being extremely sweaty to get up to these insanely high levels of honor and be able to get into those bracket one, bracket two positions. Of course, if you don't know how to get this maximum honor for each AV, make sure you do subscribe to my channel below and check out my last video where I go over all the objectives you can get in an Alt Direct Valley match to maximize the amount of honor you can get for each match. Lastly, I wanted to just show a very concrete example of how much honor, how much time it's going to take to rank up. I've put together this simple spreadsheet. I'll link it in the description below. You can put in your own numbers for which bracket you've been in, which bracket you plan on being in. And what it does is just calculates the amount of ranking points you can get maximum for that bracket. It calculates the decay you're going to get based on what rank you were going into that and then what rank you will be coming out of it. So as you can see here, this is what I would say a very standard player would be doing someone who's actually still playing quite a bit but definitely not in the bracket one or two or, or say bracket 13 or 14 they're actually sitting around bracket nine or ten for most of the first what we can see here about nine weeks so you're looking at two full months of being around bracket 10 just to get up to rank nine and then you can see from there you would have to start to really put in the effort get up to bracket 14 to be able to overcome the decay and climb up up to rank 13 which will then take three more weeks to get rank 14. So that wraps up how the brackets and the honor system work in classic wow i hope this was helpful but if you thought you were going to be spending your christmas holidays sleeping or you thought you'd be going to a bunch of christmas parties well if your goal is to rank up in classic wow you're more likely to spend them doing this <laughs>